Welcome Rainmakers to another installment of our tutorial videos on the new and improved Rainmaker platform. I'm Will DeWitt, the Director of Digital Solutions here at Rainmaker Digital Services. And in today's video, I'm going to walk you through something that has came up a lot from our users since the launch of Andromeda. And we've gotten this question a plenty over the last, I'd say, year or so. And that question is something along the lines of, I really like the new MemberPress features inside of the platform, but I just want a different checkout experience. Is it possible to use your WooCommerce integration to sell my memberships? Well, the easy answer is yes. You can connect your memberships under our MemberPress section of the site and tie it into the WooCommerce in order to leverage that shopping and checkout experience. So in this video, I'll go over how to create a WooCommerce product that links to your membership, the differences between the two checkout experiences, what you'll need in order to accept reoccurring payments on WooCommerce, and how you can quickly create a shopping page with Beaver Builder. And if you're wondering how to create a new membership in the Rainmaker platform Andromeda, or if you're wanting to learn some of the basics of just WooCommerce in general, I encourage you to check out some of our previous videos. You can find my member press video at rainmakerdigital.com slash video dash member press. And you can find my WooCommerce overview at rainmakerdigital.com slash video dash WooCommerce. So let's go ahead and just get started. All right, so the first thing that you'll need to do is just make sure that you have a membership that you want to sell via WooCommerce. So you can find those under the conversion and memberships. And then once you're inside of there, feel free to give a look. If you have the membership already created and you just want it in WooCommerce, then we're all set here. If it's not, step one will be creating a brand new membership. But let's go ahead and enter our WooCommerce products. So that's down here a little bit more underneath the conversion window. And then once you're inside, we're gonna to wanna to add a new product. And we're gonna be creating a uh, advanced membership here on my site. So we're gonna call it advanced membership. And we'll go ahead and give it a quick description, something like this is the best membership we offer. Great, so now that you have a title and a description, Go out and down under product categories. I would suggest having a category for memberships. That's what I did here. And then the secret that I think of where a lot of people's getting a little bit lost here is you won't see a member press menu item under the product data until you click on the virtual. So once you know it's a virtual product, which makes sense, it's a membership, you click it, and now you'll see the member press tab come up. So you can go ahead and click it. From there, find the membership that you want. So we're doing advanced. Uh, this checkbox would allow users to access the membership content that you have protected before the order is completed. That means payment processing. So if you're wanting instantaneous access, I would check this box. Um, but if the payment ends up failing, then of course they would lose their access, but this allows them in while the payment is still processing. So that's how you would set up and just link to the membership Going back up to the general though, you might want to give them a price and you can put it on sale if you would like. Again, I go through all these settings in the WooCommerce overview tutorial. Uh, other than that, you can give it a short description if you would like, give it a product image, which is always, if you're going to go with the shopping cart, it makes a lot of sense to do so. So I'm setting that product image there. And then other than that, we should be all set. We have the category, we have the description, the title, the price, linking it to a membership. So I'm gonna go ahead and click publish. And luckily, it's as simple as that. If you already have your WooCommerce settings configured, this product is ready to rock and roll and you'll be able to sell this membership through your WooCommerce product now. So once people purchase this product, they're able to see everything that any other member would if they go through that different checkout experience. And just to go through, we can view this product real quick and you'll see it has the whole shopping cart experience, uh, showing the image, adding it to the cart. And once you're in the cart, you'll be able to see everything that's in the cart, go through the whole checkout process as well. So you can put in all your details, check out, everything's ready to rock and roll. Looks like I already had my basic membership as well. Uh, so you can buy multiple memberships if they needed to, but of course, in this instance, it wouldn't make too much sense. So that's 
the general quick way to add a WooCommerce product and link it to your membership. And while we're here, just showing you this is the checkout experience. So you put in all your billing details, any additional information, scroll down, put in your credit card information and place your order. Of course, all the colors here can be changed via CSS to match your site, match your theme. But that's just a basic overview of how WooCommerce checkout looks. I'll show a shopping page here in just a little bit. But first, I did want to go through uh, the original checkout experience. So if you go to memberships instead, you'll go ahead down into there. And then once you're inside of memberships, if you just view it, you'll be seeing the checkout for it. And once you're inside, you'll see this experience is a little different. You're setting up an account with all your information, putting in your address. And this one's complete your purchase. But of course, we have a two-step, two-page checkout experience here. So once you go to this one, of course, you should probably change the copy to from complete your purchase. But on the next page as whether you'll put in all of your credit card information. So this is more of a one-page experience when you're using WooCommerce compared to perhaps this two-page checkout experience. And real quickly here under memberships, you'll see all the different terms that I have set up here for my different membership options here. Whenever you set something up in WooCommerce, the WooCommerce price will override these prices. So the WooCommerce will handle all of the checkouts. So making sure that your terms match, um, if you want to carry these over, it's going to be a big key for you as well. So real quickly, I wanted to show you, I use Beaver Builder for a quick page just to make a checkout with all three of my memberships real quick, real easy. So on a new page, you can activate Beaver Builder, keep it blank, and then load into this front end visual editor. And you'll see already that my advanced membership has already made it over here, which is great, um, as well as my basic and my intermediate membership as well. I put basic in the middle. I just wanted that to be the option. You can always have the order set up, but... You can see here, uh, it's just a quick short code for products category for my memberships. I put in a H2 here. Uh, you can do really anything you want. Uh, I use the text editor with HTML. If you wanted to use the visual tab, you can do something like that as well. Make it as big as you like. Super easy. We also have a video on Beaver Builder. If you're wondering how to use this tool, I would definitely encourage you to check that out as well. But as you can see on this page, you see all three memberships, all the add to cart buttons. It's a quick way to display them. Of course, you can put different copy, make this a true landing page. And then as well inside of Beaver Builder, when you scroll down, you can add different WooCommerce items. So if I wanted to throw it underneath, you can even show a cart or a checkout page, uh, your account more add a cart buttons, show multiple products and just like the products themselves instead of me using the category shortcode. There are a lot of just different options out there for you and I would encourage you to experience them for yourselves and uh, play around with these tools as well. But uh, we can hit done, we can publish this page. And then once we do so, you'll notice that everything's operational and working, which is great. So you can add a cart. And then once you do, you're able to go through the whole checkout experience. So it's a good, fun way to go through it. And now that we're here, it's the same page we already discussed. All three memberships are inside. Put your credit card details and you're good to go. So that's how setting up a membership inside of WooCommerce would work. Now, I mentioned at the top of the video, you will need to do something a little bit extra if you're wanting to have reoccurring payments right now. WooCommerce out of the box, it only handles one-time payments, which is kind of the opportunity cost of using this checkout experience. But if you're wanting to use WooCommerce because you really like this checkout experience and the shopping cart and just the ability to set it up a little bit differently than just member press, uh, you're going to need to get an add-on. It's called WooCommerce Subscriptions. Uh, it's $199 a year. We can install that for you on your website, but it needs to be known. You need to know that if you want to use WooCommerce and you want it to accept reoccurring payments, uh, this will be an add-on that you would need to purchase and we can put it on your website as well. That way you can operate your membership site exactly how you desire. All right, well, that'll do it. Short, sweet, and to the point. Uh, by now, by watching this video, you'll be able to take a member press membership create a WooCommerce product that it links to that membership 
and sell it throughout your WooCommerce store so that way you're not tied to the member press checkout experience if you are looking to use more of that WooCommerce shopping cart feature. If you have any questions, like always, uh, reach out to us, drop us a line anytime at rainmakerdigital.com slash contact, or feel free to email support directly as well. And if you're looking to migrate to Andromeda from the legacy platform, uh, schedule your migration today at rainmakerdigital.com slash migrate. And if you have any questions before you do so, again, re reach out to support and we'll make sure we get you in a pretty good spot before we go ahead and do so. But that's going to do it for this month's video. I hope you found this information to be valuable and useful, and I'll be back soon with some more tips, tricks, and best practices for the Rainmaker platform. Until next time, keep making it rain.